from Revolutions in Barstow. We're here for the title matches of today's JBT event. This is our most videotaped final ever. We have a whole like recording studio up here between Larry and the incredible Paula Vidad and everyone else. A scratch ahead of handicap, it's Brendan Thomas playing Eric Hatchett. That's Thomas in the fourth frame. And he is wild right now, as neither bowler has struck in this title match so far. On what well, wasn't that low scoring of an event today, Eric was your top seed at plus 255, while uh, Brendan qualified second at 210 and won the semifinal match, 235 to 176 over Austin, but he has been uh, left and right in this title match so far. Uh, just missed the head pin left and missed that spare for his first open, but meanwhile, Eric has not fully taken advantage. He's clean, but it's with eight, seven, and six counts. So he's lost almost a full mark of count right now. Uh, and the end result is, what is that? About a 12 pin lead right now for Hatchet. Thomas, a non-winner on tour, looking for that breakthrough first title. And meanwhile, Eric looking to break into double digits. He's a nine-time champ between the two divisions. Joining, trying to join the Elite 10 title club. He'll do it sooner or later. It's just a matter of he'll do it this game. Why is there a second mic in my face? What is going on here? <laughs> All of one of the co-owners here at Revolution is doing a live stream of this title match, something we're looking into doing for our majors as well. So hopefully some of you guys are listening and talking live right now. Thank you for uh, tuning in if you are, and you can watch the uh, archived version of this on Ustream. And you can, of course, watch our on our YouTube page, JBT900, which some of you are watching this on right now as well. And meanwhile, the wild shots continue as Eric whips the head pin to the right. Uh, there were scores today. Derek Aikov led the tournament with 300. Brendan had the second eye game today with 297. So there's ways to strike out there. But right now it looks like the batteries deteriorate a little bit. It's an all wood surface, which generally means a lot of friction by the end of the day. And that's certainly the case here. Let's see if either of these bowlers can get locked in. Even though Brendan has one open and Eric's clean, Eric is trailing now because he's lost so much count. Complete line change. And not a good result yet. Eric usually tries to do that big belly from deep inside. He was doing that the first four frames, had no luck, so he changed it. Trying to just pipe it up the track. And even that ball checked a little early in on the easy. Super difficult 3-6-9-10. There's about 25 ways to chop this and about one or two to make it. Let's see if we can find one of them too. We made it earlier in the first round. Wow, it makes it again. I'll tell you what, it's tough to make that 3, 6, 9, 10 twice in one game. That's a good job at the spares at least from Eric. Right now he's on base for a clean 186 though. It should be kind of unusual. But it might be enough right now because Brendan looks lost. Remember, he just shot 230 on this pair, so he should know what to do. Maybe it's title match nerves, hard to tell. No, oh, Timber! You know what, after you miss the head pin either way, you slap out that Brooklyn six pin. Get a little momentum going right there. See, you got that ball too far right too early, and it's just instant hooked on him. Oh, okay, got a score change there. She gave him a nine. Meanwhile, uh, Handicap just finishing up the semifinal there on the left. Uh, Trevor Thompson's winning his second consecutive match in the step ladder. He's going to advance and take on Joe Drenser for the Handicap Division title. Unique tournament here accounts for both SoCal and Mojave Conference points. So if you make the top five, you make both invitationals. It's not double points, it's just points for each conference. That looks a little better. Oh, man. You can tell by uh, Brendan's body language that he was surprised, too. He was trying to get that ball to fade the whole way, and it looks like it was going to, at worst, trip out the four. Instead, he leaves the four ten. Brutal. See if Thomas can give this split a run here. You know, fall behind in the match if he doesn't convert. It's somewhat close, but so with that open, he's got 89 through. Is that six already? Let the little graphic fade away. 
Yeah, it's 89 through 6, so only on a 169 pace right now. Hatchet again in that 186 pace, clean through 5. Let's see if he goes back to the deep inside line or tries to pipe it up the track again. Looks like he's going to try deep inside again. It's his A game. He's super comfortable playing super deep. Sticks with what looked like the more aggressive ball. <laughs> And this time Eric's body language tells the story as he says, finally, in the 1-3. Joey, start your practice, please. Oh, sure. So first strike of the title match in the scratch division. And two bowlers who are plus 255 and plus 210 respectively after eight games comes in the sixth frame for Hatchet. Now Brennan had a Brooklyn in the fifth, too. Big shot here for Eric. When you're playing these rookie bowlers as far as title matches are concerned, you want to just put that hammer down as early as possible. Not sure. Wow. Sort of out of nowhere. That ball didn't even think about turning over. I don't know if he came out of that one funky or what, but... Uh, uh, well, thank you. No, I should... Oh, look at this backup ball at it. Oh, not at all. Here, take this thing out of my hands. Who moved back? Yes, of course. Just tell him Jeff says no. <laughs> Please. Part two is going to be good. Come back for that.